the all powers s200 portable power station i've been sent this to do a product review on and it is super dinky um and super handy especially so we'll go to some of the specs in a minute um for campers so the output isn't absolutely massive but if you're a uh, somebody that likes to go uh, away camping um, or you've got a, a camper van and things like that and you don't need anything that's uh, power hungry this mini portable power station could be for you so in the box so this is the box that it all comes in it's quite simple what you get in the box you've got a brick for charging it with sorry this actually had a uk plug on it as well then there is obviously you've got your um, your instructions um on how the unit works what i'm not going to do i'm not going to baffle you with loads of data and science and numbers and wattages and amperages and things like that but this is basically it's a lithium ion battery that's in here um the weight of it is about 1.4 kilometers and you can power this by the brick or you can also solar panel it so, solar power power it because because part of this oh, i've got this as well which i'm going to come to so this is a portable totally portable solution uh, so this in a minute you'll see how it all works this goes into here this this will all make sense as this um review sort of comes out of it um as ever there's um a link for more information on this and where you can purchase it down there in the description so if you are interested you know you know what to do and uh, so to say it's absolutely ideal for um uh, campers and caravanners because of the literally the compact size um and weight so i think there's a way so a spec on this one is uh, yeah 1.4 kil uh, kilos so i don't know whether you uh, i'll hold that there for you I don't know whether the camera is going to pick that detail up but if you can see that there's some spec for you then you can have a pinch and squeeze if you want some data and one thing when you first get this unit i'm not going to do an unboxing because you've pretty well seen that it's out, out basically it's out of the box and the reason it's out of the box when you get this for the first time you need to charge it up so um there's a couple of ways you can charge it there is a type c plug here so that's an output so if you want to charge um or power uh something that's got a type c on it it's here but you can also input from there as well and as i say you can charge by this so that you can double your charge time so this is super compact you've got your uh, maze plug on here which basically has got a little inverter in here there is um on the front you've got your a couple of usbs here can you see these um and we've got some function buttons on the side here so to turn it on what we need to do is hold the button down very very shortly and it's got a real simple easy to read display on this one um, you can also charge this as well as the type c and the brick from solar so um yeah so we have got that option as well so what we've got on the front here um yeah the, you've got the input the output um the battery life and things like that we will plug a few lightweight things in in on this one not 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 too many to be honest um because you'll get you'll get the hang of it and it has also got a wireless charging point on the top here which is um pretty good as well so as i say this is not a beast it's only a 200 watt um supply so don't think you're going to be powering kettles and hair dryers and things like that this is primarily sort of for the more lightweight uh, person and um, if you're going camping um and things that you want the other thing with these um power banks these units these power stations that people don't mention you at home if you have a power cut and especially if you live somewhere where power cuts are quite common if you have a power cut 
you lose your internet because your router basically loses power and you can't get on the internet this will have enough power to power a router at home so do keep that in mind that this uh, this use your imagination with these units so what we'll do i'm going to um grab the solar panel now and say we'll go into this in a bit more spec so this all comes in a real little handy case 60 watt solar panel as you can see here and i'll try and lower the camera down and you can sort of possibly try and see a little bit more of what's in here when we open this up so we've got our power cable we've got a number of adapters can you see them here so you can use a solar panel to power or charge things like i don't know your mobile phone your laptop there is a couple of carabiners in here where, where have they gone There's some silica gel patches here which uh we'll we'll, we'll take out and then there is your little instruction book the main unit in here which it's not going to be very easy to show you prof, uh, possibly you can daisy chain and pull the camera up a little bit you can daisy chain another solar panel onto here and on here as well as basically plug it into the main unit you've got outputs here so you can take solar panel without the power station just as an example to charge up your phone so depending on the weather conditions um, and how much energy this this is pulling in look at this here isn't, isn't this wonderful and and this is the most amazing thing because that will fit into the bag and if you're going camping look at that how neat is that that is like your own portable power station with solar panels and again we will try and get this outside um, a little bit more so take this out for now and the big reveal so you see it's all all compact but oh, out it comes and out it comes and out it comes and out it comes look at that how amazing is that that's the uh that's the solar panel um absolutely it's, it's so light and so portable this and what you can do you can use your carabiners um these you can clip this onto here um i don't know onto the size of a tent or a, a windbreak things like that you could hang it up from a tree um let your imagination take you to where um where you can use this but can you just imagine now if you're if you're like if you're a camper and you're going off grid for a while and you you know i know you've got your portable power banks for charging up your phone but you need something much better than a little power bank look at this, this isn't this fantastic so what we'll do um i think what we'll do we'll get a, i'll go and get a couple of items out of my caravan uh, which we'll just plug into this and just show you how it all works um and how simple it is as well and then we'll try and get this outside uh unfortunately as i'm recording this we've got a massive storm due in <laughs> we haven't got any sunshine all we've got is gray 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 weather but let, let me go and get a couple of items to plug in so you can see how this works right so i've just got uh, a, a a couple of items that if i was going camping in a tent or in a in a small camper van and i was going off grid and um, things that i potentially as a content creator will need so i can create content so first of all a light so this is a this is a, a maze light so if you plug this into the unit into here and then on the side so we'll need to turn the unit on which we're all, all on here and then on the side we've got something that says ac out so i'm just going to hold that down i 
I don't know if you can see the little red light there. Now what's that showing me now? So that's showing me basically there's 24 hours of usage. And with this turned on, um, it's showing that I'm just using 0.1 of a watt. And now I've got 20 hours. So I could basically have this with it, which is a full mains light on for just to give you an idea for 20 hours. So again, if you're in a tent and you want lighting for um, your evenings, I've just gone off. I don't know whether you can see that on the panel. So very, very simple and very, very, very clear, isn't it? So that's your mains onto here. Then I'm filming this on a GoPro, but I've also got my trusty DJI. So if we want to put onto the, so we can turn the AC off here and we can go on to um, USB. If, oh, sorry, I should have possibly also said there is a couple of cooling fans here and here. And because like the inverter is turned on, there is a slight hum. I don't know if that's picking up or not. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Okay, so let's just power the unit off. So you have to hold the button down for a couple of seconds. And then what we can then do is take a USB and just say, this is my DJI action. Love my DJI. I actually prefer and use this more than the GoPro. I can now plug that into the DJI side here. Okay, so that's all connected. I'm going to power the unit on again here. And now we're going to go on to the USB output to say we want to take the power from the batteries um, to the USB. So we can hold this button down here. And are we on there now? Yeah, we've got 13 hours of usage. And I don't know whether you can see the flashing light there on the DJI. So that's charging now. And I can leave that plugged in. Obviously, the DJ would not take 13 hours to charge. It's only uh, half an hour or so. But that, that will give me now 13 hours of continued usage. But what I can also do, I'll take my laptop. So this is actually rendering a video at the moment. And we can put this onto the other. Oh, sorry, I, I bought the wrong plug with me. I can go from, so this is a USB out which is on the on the on the side here yeah and uh, I can plug that in is that giving me any more more readings on there so it's putting 0.7 of a watt out on there and again I've got 12 hours of usage um, on here the battery is currently at a hundred percent that's a DJI charging I'll just unplug that because I've got too many wires everywhere and then I can open up my laptop up, ba -do -ba -do. Just take a moment to bring it back to life and you won't be able to see I'll try and bring the camera down just give me one second and down into the bottom corner here and basically that's my laptop being charged up as well All right so we're outside on a very 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 cloudy day so the output of this is not going to be very good. And at the moment, as you can see here, I have not got the station attached to this in any shape or form. But if you look here, my DJI is actually charging by a solar panel without the solar charger. This is a, a power bank on its own right so if we go into here look so this is so this is where we're going to plug into the station in a minute so i'm taking out the usb out and that is actually got enough power on a day like today to actually trickle feed and to be charging up my um 
DJI camera. I could now be charging up a phone on the top of a mountain. I could be in a valley. I can plug my laptop into this um, because this actual solar panel is absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to bring the unit outside um, where I'd say it's, it's a shame it's not a sunny day isn't it. We'll bring the unit in now and show you that plugged into the um, into the solar panel. Solar panel plugging into here. You won't be able to see this too well. Um, in fact I can't. Can you see the indicator there? Now this is only putting in 0.3 of a watt. I don't know whether you can see that or not. It's not very easy to see, but we are actually open that up. We are on a terribly, terribly cloudy day. But we have got the full trickle feed. Let me go and get a, uh, oh golly, raindrop raindrop we don't want rain let me go and get that light again i could plug that in outside and show you that again working outside okay so we've got this unit turned on remember you need to hold your button uh, the power button down for a few seconds we've got the functions on the side here to get your ac out whether where you're going to go to so if we hold the ac out button Don't know if you saw the little red light come on here now. Twenty-three hours of usage. We're pulling in 0.7 watt of the solar panel that the battery is charging, and sorry for the flicker. That's just the um, that's the GoPro how that's reacting. So that's. Um, Again, turn that off. So that's sort of looking now at the setup that you could have. But in the wild, in the wild, if you're camping, this is how you'd actually set it up. Watch this now coming so up. You need to use your imagination a little bit on this one now. So if you now imagine you've got your solar panel out where you're camping, this is your pouch. Do you remember? look here so you can have that now and then you can have this partly zipped up sorry do, doing this one-handed um, and then your outputs here will go like this absolutely amazing as I say it is not a beast um, you're not going to be powering great big heavy appliances with this or anything like that but small portable for a camper that will slip physically into your rucksack or a nap pack even if you're going out for a day out and again if you're a content creator and you're taking your gopro out or your action camera and um yeah you're carrying pockets full of full of batteries and things this 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 will work for you let's have a look at this again now with um with it sort of more folded up so that is now everything all in that little pack. So again, you arrive on camp with a little bag like this. Out it comes, your pack's all in there. All ready to go. I think this is genius. I really do think this is genius. And for, as I say, for people that go camping, this is, this is gonna be a game changer. So, what's the verdict? I don't know, you tell me what you think of this. Um, were you aware of such dinky little units oh there's one thing i'm not showing you isn't there just give me one second something else to show you mobile phone you're in your tent or your camper van look at this watch
absolutely genius. Um, you've got a full wireless, just again, just put it on. There you go, look at that. So if you're, you've, you want to charge up your mobile phone in your tent, this has got your back. This has absolutely got you covered. So would I recommend this? I flipping well would. Um, I will probably be gifting this to um, possibly one of my daughters. And I know Sandra sort of is aware that this is coming in and she's got her eye on it um, as a portable power solution for when she goes camping. So um, she's not been camping this year, has she? All being well, me and Sandra might go camping in a couple of years time with, uh, with, with this with us. So links down there in the description where you can get more information. Um, I'm not going to give you the price um, because the pri these prices just vary um, all the time and this video you may watch it in a year's time the price will be completely different and I'm not gone overboard on specifications because for you and me the everyday user you don't want to be bezumbled bezumbled new word for you with science that you don't need to know um, but again there is on the link uh, in the description more technical information if you're one of the technical um, people that want technical information hope you enjoy that product review and again i tend to only do product reviews or products that i think um, i personally would use and you as a viewer may also be interested in using and as i say this for me is a game changer for many people out there thanks ever so much for watching